anyone who's watched this channel before or in fact any other channel similar to mine will recognize this it's a tp4056 module and uh, that's the actual tp4056 there the little eight pin ic and it's a lithium iron battery charger module and uh, it does a pretty good job of it and this particular board has some supporting circuitry uh, for also protecting the battery from getting undercharged i think that's a dw01 there at the top and a dual mosfet there at the bottom and these do a great job of charging your lithium iron batteries and you can adjust the current that it charges the cells at by removing this resistor put in a different value and charge at different currents but one amp is the maximum but in the past we've also seen this particular version of the tp4056 module and uh, this one came with all sorts of other items on it but it's still primarily a battery charger but this also had the temperature pin connected uh, a 5 volt regulator a 3.3 volt regulator and uh, some other bits and pieces going on there as well but again this was limited to one amp current for your battery you couldn't charge any higher than that because that's a limitation of the tp4056 however searching around ebay like i do i came across this module and this is four tp4056s all sat next to each other with some supporting circuitry uh, we've got the current resistor, which is actually a 1.6k resistor. We'll find out how much current that delivers shortly. And there's a, an output capacitor on each of the TP4056s. Uh, a couple of shock T diodes on the input. And a resistor there for the LED, which is also included in the kit. And there's also a 2.1 5.5 mil jack to go on as well okay so please do excuse the roughness of this diagram but we've got the 5 volts coming in here and the ground 0 volt rail here and uh, the 5 volt goes through these two Schottky diodes which are in parallel and then we've got a smoothing capacitor on the input there's a 1k resistor um, protecting these two LEDs which are brought low uh, to turn them on Pin 4 is the VCC pin and pin 8 is chip enable, so they're both pulled high. Pin 3 is ground and pin 2 is the current setting resistor, which uh, is 1.6K on each of the TP4056s. 5 is the output to the uh, battery positive and there's a capacitor smoothing that output as well. And that is just replicated for all the TP4056s, of course the status LEDs are only on the first TP4056 and there is another smoothing capacitor on the output connecting to the batteries as well. So it is as simple as connecting all the outputs together, they're all reading the same battery voltage I suppose, uh, they're all set to the same current. Um, so. Let's solder this together and see if it works. And a quick check of the TP4056 data sheet says a 1.6K resistor uh, gives a current of 690 milliamps. And uh, as standard, it's a 1.2K resistor to give one amp output. Well, 690 milliamps from each of the TP4056s gives 2760 milliamps so that's 2.7 amps well that's a bit healthier so there we have it the led has been soldered in i've also put some wire on the output and uh, some ferrule ferrule boot lace crimps on the end of these cable these are really good and really handy when you're plugging them into these sorts of connectors and taking them out again occasionally it's much easier than uh, having bits of wire, cores of the wire going all over the place now shall we see how well this charges these three 18650s here 
they average about 2300 milliamps each i guess i could use one but that would uh would be charging over its 1c rating um so by putting three in parallel hopefully uh we'll make sure that we get the full out of the uh, tp4056 my bench power supply is supplying five volts and up to four amps if needed once i turn it on the port power in the middle is showing the voltage of these cells which is 3.42 volts i have discharged them fully to uh, three volts but that has bounced back up a little bit so let's turn on the power supply the led goes on dimly on the tp4056 and uh, 3.69 volts and we're delivering 1.94 amps just over 7 watts and my power supply is delivering 5 volts and 2 amps almost exactly 9.8 four watts it's claiming so uh we are losing a couple of watts somewhere so this has been running a little while now we're up to 3.8 volts and the uh current is at 2.3 amps so that's not too far away from what we'd expect um but what i have noticed is these tp4056s all four of them there is a small heat sink on the back there are getting quite warm um yeah definitely and in fact yeah those shocky diodes are getting pretty warm as well um because all the current must have to pass through these diodes and uh they they'll be dropping 0 0.1 0 0.15 volts across them so they are yeah those shocky diodes are getting pretty warm um but so are the tp 4056s um so that's definitely something to watch out for so hopefully you found this uh, new tp 4056 module interesting if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe down below comment if you can and i'll see you next time thanks for watching